Hey, what's up guys, Dignal here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the uh, the top three ways to use Twixter. Uh, I'm going to be going over the uh, the advanced uh, settings of Twixter, and I'm going to be showing you uh, a couple presets that I've made just for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into uh, number one. Alright, so for the first way to use uh, Twixter, I'm going to be showing you how to use it pretty much exactly like Velocity, except with Twixter, you can actually create a preset and that way you don't have to manually click velocity and then add the keyframes every time. So what you're going to want to do is just head over to your, your video and you're going to want to go to uh, where you get the kill where the character goes blue. You're going to make a marker here and you're going to want to go back one, two, three, four, five frames. Press uh, split and now you're going to want to add Twixter. So uh, just add Twixter Pro default, drag that on there. And uh, now what you're going to want to do is uh, make the uh, the speed percentage uh, 50, or no, you're going to make it 100 right here on the first keyframe. You're going to want to make a keyframe, go to the uh, the kill, make it 250, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 forward and make it 50. Now, if you do this, it's just going to be behave exactly like normal uh, normal velocity, except this time it's actually smooth, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and then you're just going to want to keyframe it to go back to 100 after a while. So just do something like that. And as you can see, it just sort of works, honestly. Um, there are some settings that you should be aware of. So if you don't like the, the super smooth, like, fucking slow-mo thing for whatever reason, uh, there are a couple things you can do. So let me see here. So you go to cr track quality, and you click on no motion vectors. Now what this does is it it just removes the twixture aspect of the uh, of the effect, and it just behaves like normal velocity. So if you go ahead and just do that, as you can see, it's just normal velocity at this point. There's nothing extra about it, except you know this time you can make it into a uh, a preset and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, there will be a uh, a preset to this in the description with the other uh, preset manager a file type. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and download that. But without further ado, let's get into uh, to number two. All right, so for number two on how to use Twixter, I'm actually going to be leaking one of my own presets here. Uh, this preset is in the uh, the Dignal x Rex pack, and I'm going to be making it public in today's video. So uh, on screen right now, you'll see the, uh, the process and how to actually unpack it. So what you're going to want to do is just download Preset Manager 2.0 and just drag it in there. And uh, then what you're going to want to do is follow me right here. So what you're going to want to do is just go to the uh, the kill, which is going to be right here. So make a marker there. Go back 25 frames, all right? Or actually, no, go back 30 frames. So it's, if it says 1510 there, you're going to want to go back to uh, 1440. You're going to press split and press this little FX file up here. And you're going to want to actually add the preset. Now for me, it's going to be a bit more, it's going to have a bit more effects than it's going to have for you. Uh, for example, you know, this, this actually has all my presets and shit. This is going to be blurred by the way. Um, but you'll, you'll have the Twixter Pro right here. So as you can see, it, it looks like this and I'm just going to try and, uh, uh, try and just make it a bit more bare bones here. But as you can see, um, it just sort of does the slow-mo thing at the start and then speeds up and then it goes to slow-mo again. So I'm going to be actually showing how to do this. So uh, if we go back to the uh, the first speed percentage here, it goes to 34, then 100. It goes back back down to 50, roughly um, five, what is it, five frames into it. And then it goes to 20 and then it speeds up here. And if you're going to want to change this yourself, what you need to do is just, you can make this 10, for example, I'm going to show you what you need to change. So this right here, this needs to be dragged up to the point, or dragged down to the point where you can actually make sure that the uh, the correct keyframe is in the correct place. So if you, if you know that the music makes like a beat drop here, then you need to just uh, make sure that, that it's on the correct frame. So if we just go ahead and change that around a little bit, uh, and then we drag it up here and we make sure that it's on the correct keyframe and let's go ahead and pre-render this and as you can see it just went down a little bit uh so yeah uh the preset is in the description i know it can be too thorough here but you know 
it is what it is. Alright, thank you guys for watching today's video. Uh, I planned on this video being a bit longer, but uh, I just couldn't figure some stuff out in the end. And, uh, you know, the preset release is, uh, is, is going to have to do for today. So, uh, there's probably going to end up being a two-parter to this, a part two, once I figure the, uh, the initial stuff out and I can sort of help you guys further. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching today's video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, you know, comment, subscribe, uh, all that good shit. And uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.